sustainable development and migrant reintegration are interlinked phenomena. Development conditions are key in migrant reintegration and when certain conditions are met, migrant reintegration will have real positive effects on sustainable development at the local level. Traditionally regarded just as a migration management instrument, reintegration is now increasingly recognized as having the potential to promote sustainable development. Returning migrants can make a key contribution thanks to the financial, human and social capital they bring back with them. Both Agenda 2030 and the Global Compact for Migration emphasize the need to promote these linkages between reintegration and sustainable development. The EU IOM Knowledge Management Hub has released a knowledge paper on fostering and strengthening interlinkages between sustainable development and reintegration programs. The paper examines how programs can maximize the mutual impact of sustainable development and reintegration at the structural, community and individual levels. It further provides insight on how to design and implement such type of programs, exploring relevant synergies and partnerships. At a structural level, programs can promote a whole-of-government approach, support interinstitutional cross-sectoral coordination mechanisms, and support the establishment or adjustment of adequate policies and programs, including by mainstreaming reintegration into development planning and programming, and vice versa. Wide engagement and coordination allow optimizing the contribution of relevant stakeholders anchoring programs in local priorities and improving the coherence of interventions across different sectors. At the community level, interventions can include local development initiatives, employment support through enhanced employment services or support for the creation of jobs for specific target groups, and interventions on economic infrastructures and systems. Programs can also contribute to improve access to basic services in communities and to support adaptation to the impact of climate change, fighting environmental degradation or mitigating the risks related to natural disasters. Community-based initiatives should empower returnees and members of the communities by involving them in the design and implementation of interventions to address the main issues they face. At the individual level, reintegration and development programs can establish synergies to increase and improve the individual support to returnees. They can also seek to leverage the potential contributions of returning migrants to sustainable development by supporting them creating jobs or new services in their community or opening up new markets, or by supporting the matching of their skills with local needs and opportunities. The COVID-19 pandemic has further underlined how much return, reintegration, and sustainable development are interlinked. Major labor-sending countries have seen high numbers of returns, including to rural areas. In addition, various countries have experienced waves of reverse migration from urban to rural areas. Responding to this situation requires addressing the needs of returnees and also of the communities to which they return, so that reintegration is sustainable. This provides a strong rationale for combining reintegration and development outcomes. Eventually, the paper is meant to provide concrete information to practitioners working on reintegration and development, be it government officials, local authorities, international organizations, NGOs, and the private sector. We truly hope this paper will be of help in increasing understanding of the need to systematically promote interlinkages between reintegration and sustainable development and encourage partnerships at the local, national and international levels. <laughs>